Thank you for joining us. Do you see it on full screen? Yes, yes, we're good. I mean, you can yeah. use plenty of recording, but I never remember to record it. Something funny about recording these things, isn't it? Okay, so now uh, we have to go through our annual. Just a minute. How would I do this? Um, we're getting into the nitty gritty. How am I going to? I'm going to get these people out of the way. Oh, okay. I'm going to move them to the left. Oops. I'm pushing, is that not nice? Pushing it's right. Right. Okay, they don't they don't have to Okay, so we've um in our little procedures, which we haven't finished yet, we have some other things to do. We have approved our financial and verbal report. Now we have to um approve the continuing office of the audit committee, which is uh Yelit Mosen and Uven Ramati. Um, can we approve that? Again, I should say only if you don't approve it, raise your hands. And then we also have to approve addition of a new member to the audit committee, uh, stakeholder Judy Prince. Alaya, where are you, Judy? Can you stand up so everyone can see you? Judy, 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 so we're strengthening the ranks of the audit committee and Judy has kindly agreed to come on board and will help us next year. We have to put it into our report to the Rasham that we are adding there to the ranks. Okay, the next thing we have to do is the question of the Ba'at Ha'amuta, the board of directors of our non-profit organization. Now we have serving on the board, uh, most of them are here. We have um, Richard, can, can, can let the board stand up? Richard, Edward, Karen, Shoshana, Carol, Carol, um, we, we have um, David Sveb, and I don't know if he's on the Zoom. Not yet. Not, not yet, he hasn't managed to join in yet. Um, who else am I going to see? The, the current, Ruben is not here. Okay, now Ruben Schwartz has announced that he is resigning from his work on the board. He's busy with many other things. He's helping uh, special needs children and doing all kinds of important stuff. And he continues to support us and to be a stakeholder. He wants no longer to be on the board. So one of our decisions is to accept his resignation. In addition, we have two very honorable new candidates for the board. Um, uh, candidate uh, Jeff Rockenberg, would you stand up? And David Chrisman, who can't stand up because he's, uh, he's, uh, he's, he's pushed up. off. He's been pushed off the side just a minute. That's really good. Uh, um, is he back again? Uh, uh, press the down button. I'll press the down button. We'll find David for some again. again. Uh, <laughs> Audit that. No, I've got that. Was he on the first one? Yeah. Yeah. We missed him. Yeah. I'm here. Are you here? Hello, David. I, Hello. I'm here. So I'm, sta I'm standing up. You're standing up. I'm David and Jeff. Uh, mix that and I'm a and 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 to join our board. And we're very pleased about that. Uh, so does everyone approve of that? Yes, Shoshana. Shoshana Shima, of course. Did I not say you did? You did. But she was already standing up. She was standing. It's very hard to get Shoshana to sit down. Anyone knows that? Knows that? Well, ask if you mentioned yourself. Pardon? You didn't mention yourself. Oh, myself. Yes, I'm on the board too. Allow me to stay there. Uh, so, are we all accepting the new members of our board, Chrisman and Jeff Rothenberg? We again will do it and ask if anyone objects to them joining the board. We should meet again with someone, yeah. the David Chrisman, the, 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 the Jeff Rothenberg. Look, as welcome to the board. I'm pushing them aside again because they really get in the way. <laughs> um, are they, are they, 
it doesn't get in their way, by the way. They, they don't have that interference, but we do. Um, and now we're going for an overview uh, of our projects and initiatives, mainly 2023, but also dipping into 2024, because we can never do it in a parallel way. Our organizational chart, we'll see the makeup of our stakeholders and donors, which you were asking about its height. And then we will leave time if it will be fast enough when talking uh, as fast as I possibly can. We uh, we'll get to the point where we have an open discussion at the end. So now we move on to um okay. Have we done oh we have another official bit that we have to do. <laughs> and we have to confirm the official signatories. Yes, Lanu Bales Hut Mushe. חתימה בעמותה, אלה אבוק זיו, אנוכי, דיוויד סבנר וחברת הצוות בתל סביבה. אנחנו צריכים לאפשר, אנחנו לא משנים את ההרכב הזה השנה, רק לאפשר את זה להמשיך. כולם מאשרים? כן. מאשרים. אוקיי. ואנחנו מאשרים, אז אתה יוצא את הרגישה אני רוצה להגיד לכם שזה לא טריוויאלי, זה רואה חשבון שמקשיב, מבין, ועוזר הרבה מאוד בניגוד הדברים. We have to approve the continuation of his employment as our accountant, להמשיך להעסיק את מאיר שקט, כולם מסכימים, מי שמתנגד, אם מישהו מתנגד ירים את היד או יגיד משהו. נעמי, הוא מתנדב או... לא, הוא לא מתנדב. This is something that Vatel and I put together um, because I always tried to show our current budget. You just saw what was spent before. What's going on in 2024? <laughs> כדי לבדוק כי עמותה אסור לה להיות חובה והיא אומנם היא נחשבת ולא מצאת רווח אבל אסור לה להיות חובה We're not allowed to be in debt um, although we're not for profit So we have our income and our Oh thank you Oh thank you for that I It's going to cover the title though. Okay, here we have our income and our expenses. מי יודע, אולי יתווספו להם עוד חמישים בעלי עניין לפני סוף השנה. If we have another 50 stakeholders before the end of the year, that could change tremendously. Perhaps 20 of you will decide we don't want to be with us anymore. And that could change things as well. But approximately, very carefully, very conservatively, זה ההערכה שלנו. כתבנו general contributions to work כלליות על מה זה מבוסס, על מה שהיה בשנה שעברה. וממש אנחנו לא יודעים שנה. זה בא מקרנות פרטיות, מגיוס המונים, גיוס המונים נכניסה זה 78 אלף שקל, ואנחנו, זה כמה תרומות פרטיות, ואז יש, we have income from foundations, תרומות מקרנות, זה 205 אלף שש מאות, 205 אלף שש מאות, 
And then income activities, this is sure to be incorrect. I have no idea. So far, it's about that, but it may be much more. Which of these? מגייסים כסף בצורות כאלה ועושים פעילויות וזה עוזר וזה יפה ויש גם בדבר הזה, אתם רואים income from government and municipality, הכנסות, אין שאלה, זה ה-85,000 עוד 20,000 שבגלל ירושלים הייתה חייבת לנו בסוף השנה על הירוק פנים ובחוץ והכסף של הפרויקטים של משרד הגנת הסביבה שכפי שאמרתי נכנסו כבר אז עוד פעם אני יכולה להגיד זה מוצא, זה מספר סגור אבל יש גם נושא של תקורה. יש גופים, אנחנו נראה אותם בהמשך, organizations that are not with non-profit status, they don't have the official status, and they work through us. They work through us and we take a modest overhead for dealing with their expenses. Um, we take, it's actually between 8 to 10 percent, um, and we're estimating that of the eight or nine organizations that are working through us, this is the amount of some money, but again, it's, it could be completely inaccurate, but I'm imagining it's something like that. And if all of that happens in Polze Kore, Yeshanu, Esach, Kol Kamesh, Motshishim, Bishnaim, Elis, the Anaku Koshvin, Shanaku Lotsi, Arbaim, Arba Motshivim, Bishnaim, Elis, 472,000, which is much less, but again, we could spend more because all kinds of things can happen, and we could earn less because all kinds of things could happen. So we're in a very um, unstable world anyway. As I'm not telling you, sir, here, much is in it. It's a mirror that has it. But it's actually a much more and more difficult to see. For example, the idea of the Malashilan, a new world that has to be signed. Do we want to give extra support to a very important campaign that's going on? There are several important campaigns going on, and we'll be talking about them. The campaign to protect the Mill Forest, the campaign to protect the Spetto, the campaign to protect the Aikelen, the campaign to protect the Jerusalem Hills, and so on and so forth. There are many of them, and they're all deserving, and maybe we can help support them, because we don't give our money just in order to say we've got the money, we want to do good stuff with it. As no, 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 me. Can I just ask a quick question? Does the five hundred, does the five hundred sixty, does the five hundred sixty-two thousand shekels include the money for last year? Yes, that was one hundred and four. So, so basically, we should take out of the that five hundred, the hundred and four, because that's covering last year's expenses. Well, that's true, but we managed to end up. Not in debt at the end of the year, so effectively we can use it this year. You may say we can't, and we're not, and you're an accountant, so you would know. But, you know, it's in the bank there, and I can use it. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I agree, but just from a from a budgetary point of view, it's most probably correct to, to take that out. I don't know. I'll be very happy to discuss this with you, David, and receive guidance. Okay, doc. We need guidance. Okay. Here's our organizational chart. For uh, interns, um, one of them is in the room with us, I believe. Shai, are you here? In a shy, Shaki, Misha, be there watching. Want to stand up? Shai is very, very helpful. וזה ממש נהדר, ונעמי סילברמן הייתה, הייתה נהדרת, הייתה ממש מצוינת, ואליסה סייק עדיין נמצאת ועוזרת מאוד מאוד מאוד, ובריין is in Kenya, and he's student at Tel Aviv University, and he's interning with us over Zoom, he's been doing various tasks and research projects, and they're all wonderful. Shy didn't hear that. Um, okay, our star, uh, Timna. Timna. Okay, Batel. Everyone knows Batel. She just jumping up the stairs. Uh, Estelle, can you stand up? 
Yosef isn't here. He's helped us a lot with um, when we're hearing what he's been doing, the social media and some other things. Eileen, as I said, is very, very sick, and we all want her to get better fast. Um, uh, Maya Shaker, who's working in Southwest Jerusalem in Kiryat Minaten, she's quite new, but she's doing very, very well. Um, Isaiah Smith. She also went downstairs. Um, oh, he's so Yossi got leaving. <laughs> okay. Um, and our daughter, our spokes ladies, Ital and Sean, who may be on Zoom. Are you on Zoom, ladies? At the Zoom? I'm not a Zoom to say that I'm in the middle. נעמי, אני כאן, נעמי, נעמי יקרה, אני כאן, אני מקשיבה, אני פה בשעה האחרונה, כן, אני עוד מעט אצטרך לעזוב לצערי, אבל אני פה ב... כמעט שעה. ויש לנו, כפי שאתם רואים, הנהלה נהדרת, וועדת ביקורת נהדרת, והיא הייתה הנהלה שאתם רוצים לצחק. 134 סטייקהולדרס, which is you, us, 5 פלטינום, 1 גולד, 3 סילבר, 8 ברונס, 106 גרין, 3 יאנג, which is especially great for students, and 3 פרנדס, who aren't quite סטייקהולדרס, but they give regular smaller sums of money, which we also are beginning to encourage, Because for some people, the 75 shekels a month is hard. Um, uh, and so we offer a possibility of 30 shekels a month and to be a friend of the organization. What are the different amounts for each? Pardon? What are the amounts for each category? Um, the green amount is 75 a month. The bronze is 150. Uh, silver is um, 3,600 a month. And a month? A year? A year, yeah. sorry. Oh, a month, 300. it's 300 a month. Then bronze, sorry, gold is 500. 500. 500. No, 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 So if anyone on the screen wants to enter a higher round, oh, that's very welcome, we, we appreciate it. Um, okay. Zeshekev shemar'eh et ha-medalim shet tzmicha. What is the indication that we are growing and developing as an organization? What are the things that we can look at? Ma'advarim shemar'eim shemar'eh et ha-medalim shet tzmicha. Shut fuyot chadashot, more mention in the papers, new partnerships, Harkavashen Poyektin Kayamin, Hosafashen Poyektin Kadashin, Hashdula, the Hayakolet Shalal Hashpia, we have a very effective lobby, we'll be hearing more about it, a lobby with 87 member organizations. Ha'udam Shehoim Banu, Ha'goren Ha'machanes, Ha'goren Ha'machanes, לפעילות של סביבה וקיימות בירושלים. זה לא קרה מיד עם הקמת הקרן, אבל זה מצב שנוצר. וגם הדבר המאוד חשוב שתמנה מרכזת, שזה השותפות האזורית, והקידום של מרחב ביר סרי, שהוא היום מרחב ביר סרי והגנה, בהרי ירושלים, באגן הסורק העליון. והקבץ וקם an urban biosphere in the upper סורק region, which includes two-thirds of Jerusalem and the Jerusalem hills, Matei Yudah, as far as Beit Shemesh, um, very sensitive areas of forested um, springs, um, wildlife, um, wildflowers, and very important uh, resources that all the local authorities in the region want to protect. Okay, and that is making progress. So now we're going to go into the things that we're doing. Okay, a list of our projects. Um, by the way, I'm not going to go over everything. A comment was made last year that it's very, very tiring if all we do is sit 
and read the English side and then the Hebrew side, yeah. all the slides. So I'm not going to do that. It's full death by PowerPoint. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, don't, we don't need to suffer that. Um, but you'll be able to go through it at your leisure. I can tell you, he sure had a bar there. A very, very important point. And in the Romana, זה מרכז שהתחלנו כיוזמה של בעלי העניין בקשה כבד מנהל איך לפעול ואיך להתחיל להשפיע בתוך המגזר החרדי. This was before we had activists in יער מיר and before we had activists in the Bay of Hope and other neighborhoods um, but uh, it's very very important for us. So but then would you like to say a few words? I'm not going to leave it on the words, I'm going to go to the pictures. But I will say a few words. Okay. Um, so it's been around for five plus years, and we've been doing all kinds of projects from very classic gardening, community gardening courses, and botanics and things like that to improving the neighborhood and how it looks, and involving residents to improve their shopati, their public private spaces around their actual buildings. Saving the Nahal of Romeo, which is a deep valley kind of you're driving north on Golden Bay here, and you look right and you see big, big buildings up on the top. So below those buildings is a big Nahal, so we're trying to also work hard and, and save that area. Great. Uh, but we can buy a few of the and we can see the view and go kind of classy and kirati. אהההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההה
במשרה קטנה, והמינהל הקהילתי מעסיק אותה בחלק משלים. She has uh, one job, but part of it is paid for by us, and part of it is paid for by the community center, but it's the same job. So it's not as though either bit interferes with the other, or that they're working at cross purposes, and it's a very harmonious relationship with the community center. So Maya, do you want to say a few words briefly in Hebrew, and if it's hard for you, I'll translate for you into English. Come here and take the microphone. I'm going to be showing you pictures. Then <laughs> get a PowerPoint. <laughs> other way, other way. I don't know why it's doing this. They keep the mouse towards the, the right. Ah, it's not. Okay. <laughs> אהההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההה
האמת שזה יותר הבעיה פיזית. זה יותר הבעיה פיזית, אנחנו שמחוקקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוקוק
and also from uh, the Ministry of Education for, for all of the uh, elements in the garden that are uh, more costly and more complicated, such as uh, the finishing of the wall, the classroom, and a new fence, and uh, uh, a roof for the kitchen, and uh, they're going to supply us also with soil and rocks and all that. Um, and, uh, and these are people we're working with. So you can see here these teams over here, they're from up north. Um, of, in these pictures, you can see the Yobel Valley. Uh, basically, in Kiria Yobel, we have three valleys, the three valleys. So we have Bustania Valley, we have uh, the Yobel Valley, and we have um, the, the valley, valley of Encanon. And each one of them um, needs a lot of attention, and each one of them has its own uh, charm and magic, and each one of them has its own challenges. So um, as you can see here um, in the side, um, this is flooding in the Yobel Valley. It is caused uh, by the building uh, in uh, by Bagan and Kiryat uh, Yovel. There's a lot of building going on, as we all know. Um, and the, it causes flooding in the neighborhood underneath Ramat Shaver um, pretty badly. So. Um, the um is that the drainage yeah. okay, the, the, the Pools is the drainage authority. This is going to link up with the next section that we're going to be talking yeah. about the urban yeah. biosphere. The, this neighborhood אם אנחנו לא מנהלים נכון את הזרימה של המים, את מי הנגר בחורף, אז אנחנו סופגים אה, משיטפונות. הלכנו, כשאנחנו ארץ צריכה, אנחנו סופגים משיטפונות בחורף, בגלל חוסר תכנון נכון וחוסר ניהול נכון של הנגר האלים. אה, אז זה שלוש הבעיות הרלוונטיות, קריאת יובל מועדת לפורענות של שיטפונות. כיוון שיש בעד מלובל, יש נחל עין קרן ובוסטניה. אז בשלושתם אנחנו מתאים. בהקשר לזה, אם זה קונקט שאני רוצה לעשות את זה עוד פעם פה בבטן, אתם יכולים לראות את הסתיים הבאות פה. זה קצת סיגלר לראות את זה, אבל זה קצת אחרת. יש הרבה פרופסיונות פרופסיונות. Uh, that are uh, actively part of our sustainability for, uh, forum. Um, you can see our urban planner and um, the, the people from the Minhal that are in charge of uh, education, activities with elderly and activities in the, um, with young families. And that we, we all work together. Half of it is professionals and half of it is residents. And um, the residents that are active, many of them are also stakeholders. So we have, um, this is going to be your part, um, so we'll get to that. Uh, Tami, Lee, and Tipi Ivan were also stakeholders, just Tami is right now in the valley and Tipi is abroad. But uh, Tami's husband, Tami, is here. Um, so they're stakeholders and they, they are basically in charge of the body and they do activities there every Tuesday. And every Tuesday we have, uh, at that area, we have our um, sustainability activities. And part of it, go back for a second. And part of it is um, the food stand with the, uh, the, the, the with uh, together with the Jerusalem food rescuers. And the one beside is, was also a stakeholder uh, and a good friend. Uh, she she's in charge of the food stand. So basically, we, we are really working it together, residents, stakeholders, and professionals in, in our area. And we have we have a focus on Tuesdays, and, and, and it's becoming more and more. And now also the um, community center by the valley has officially taken it upon themselves to be a sustainability um, community center because of our activity. So. אסתר, יכולים לספר לנו, אם חשובים, זה שעות עבר. אני רוצה להוסיף מילה אמיתית. זה אמיתי, כן. אסתר, הקימה את הבאסטה בתקורונה לפני ארבע שנים, 
והגרעין שהגיע לבאסה לקבל ירקות ממצילות המזון היה בעיקר מהרווחה. יחד עם זה, הבאסה מיועדת לכל מי שרוצה להציל מזון, ומגיעים הרבה אנשים מהשכונה ומהרווחה. האוכלוסייה היא מאוד מגוונת, לא הטרוגנית, עם צרכים שונים ונורמות התנהגות שונות, וזה באמת מאתגר ליצור אווירה נמוכה ומקבלת ומכילה וראויה, ואנחנו, ואסתר, ואני, והמתנדב המתוק הזה פה למשל, ו... ועוד מתנדבים ממש מנסים ליצור כל יום שלישי מחדש אווירה טובה עם פינת קפה ותור ראוי לקבל את האוצר המדהים שנשלח אלינו ממצילות המזון מהשוק התקראי. יופי של מוצרים שאם לא היינו מקבלים אותם, אם לא היינו מפרקים אותם, היו עובדים פשוט בפח ההשפעה. אז ממש הצלה של מזון, וזה win win situation, גם אנשים שצריכים את המזון, וגם אנשים שרוצים להציל אותו, וזה פרויקט מוצלח. ואני ממש מודה לאסתר שקיבלתי. תודה למיקי, תודה. מיקי, ממש אמרתי כאן לבאסה. מיקי, גם שאתה זה חשוב, יש הרבה דוברי אנגלית שרוצים לקחת חלק במה שקורה בעיר והקבוצה הזו מאפשרת את זה. פרויקט מיוחד שהוא עובר מלהיות פרויקט של בעל עניין להיות פרויקט ממש חשוב של הקרן, אנחנו מנסים לעזור לזה להתפתח, שמורת פרטי הבר של נווה יעקב, אנה דוקטור אנה גודייבה ודוקטור לידיה בלוצקי גם נמצאות פה, אנה would you like to get up and say just a word or two One sentence, because we're running short of time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's not a post about uh, uh, the development of the government and the government של תגלית, וזה יהיה יחד עם קרן ירושלים ירוקה. אני אתייחס לוועדה שתי. Right, oh. voila. So we there save, it is. There it is. Yeah. So we save it from uh, the fatigue. <laughs> and it, it was like a sea of these flowers, and we save it to Neviyako. I just came from this people. I teach them how to collect the seeds of this flower because yeah, it's yeah. growing again. It was like a seed. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, big. Oh yeah, I, I have a film, you did a film about it, and it was on the internet. Okay, now we endangered. It's a lot of uh, problems around us because it will be Pinui uh, Binui, it's a uh, building, uh, school, a synagogue with kindergarten, and one more building. So we are endangered when we decide to do a shvip. So we are doing Shvil, we are applying for money, and we are in process. We're in process, and yeah. we're going to try and speak to the uh, urban renewal people. Thank you for energy, Peter, and this, but 
more than two decades looking after this place. She's taking it over. It's so sad with all the gold and the gold and the kids. Um, we're going to try and speak to the early renewal people and get them to fund activities and to help preserve the place. That's one way to go about things. Well, the convention at Siyat. Uh, no, exactly. The other way. The other way. Yeah. Another one? Okay. I'm going to read the book on Shulat Zushanayim Bat Karima. Ila, 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 והיא עושה עבודה טובה, וחלק מהאנשים היושבים פה נמצאים כל חודש בישיבות. אני רק אגיד, כי אתם תקראו את זה, the most important thing that the sustainable Jews and lobby did this year was hold an election panel with all the candidates. Oh, sorry. Um, I want to show the pictures of the panel. Before the elections, we had a, a public panel with uh, eight or nine of the candidates, the heads of, of, of different parties, um, and we had put together our own platform uh, of the opinions of all the 87 organizations that are members of this lobby. Um, and it was the fruit of their labor. Here you can see we had a full hall in David Yellen, um, eight candidates, some of them are now in the city council. Yossi Chavidia got in with four seats. Adil Schwartz got in with three. I think Ari King got in with two. Um, Yael and Teddy got in with one. And the, others, and the others did not get in. We can say for a little bit, and we got in. But we got in the panel and we asked you a question that you can see. עבודה של כל הקבוצות החברות בשלולה. וזה הייתה, אני חייבת להגיד שהייתה לי אישית הרבה נחת בערב הזה, כי זה היה עבודה שלנו. עבודה שלנו, and now, after the elections, we're beginning to meet, slowly they barely got their act together, we're beginning to meet with some, uh, with the people who are now in office, um, and they know what our agenda is, and they will try and help us. And even though many people think that environment isn't at the top of the list of our municipalities' priorities, I think you'd be surprised we're going to be able to do a lot of good work with them during this term of office. And then I'm optimizing that. We share our mitmachesh and our mission to be able to do other and to make the avodah that we did in the shul and the other optimizing action. חוץ מהדבר הזה, יש הנושא של ירוק פנימי בחוץ. Once a year, the organization of a lot of celebrates, it was in support, we had three consecutive days, 60 events, all over the city, on different days, about 4,000 people came to Jerusalem to the events. למה לא יכולנו להנות מהדבר הנפלא הזה? כי למחרת נפלה מלחמה. נכון. זה היה רביעי חמישי, שלישי רבי חמישי של כל המועד סוכות. פריידי הוא כל הזמן הולך להתאהב שמחת תורה, הוא הולך להתאהב על שבת מוני וכל העולם הוא אפסייד דאון. אבל אנחנו נעשה את זה עוד פעם הזה, אנחנו עובדים עם המוניסיפליטי. המוניסיפליטי באמת מנסה לקחת את זה לפרויקט. הם חושבים שזה טוב, הם רוצים להיות שם, אבל אנחנו לא נותנים להם, כי זה נכון פרויקט. אנחנו נותנים להם להתאהב. אני חושבת שזה הדרך להתאהב. Okay, and here, oh, just can you go back Hi. once? There, you see here, you see Lisa Friedman, who, who helps fund our project in the yeah. in the Fen, and she was at the uh, Green Inside and Out event, and this was an event in Esther's back garden, okay. um, The Regional Partnership for an Urban Biosphere will ask Tina to say a few words. Thank you. בשותפות 
שכל השותפים שקיימים במרחב, עיריית ירושלים, מועצה אזורית מטה יהודה, מבשרת, רשות ניקוז שורץ לחיש, חקל, החברה להגנת הטבע, כל אלה גופים שכבר נמצאים בפנים מסביב לשולחן. מתוך ההבנה שתמיד תשתיות הטבע נשארות בצד, וקודם כל צורכי האדם זה פיתוח, ואנחנו מבינים שאנחנו צריכים את הטבע בשביל, בשביל העתיד שלנו, ולכן צריך לקחת גם אותו בחשבון בתכנון ובנהוגות של מדעי חג. אז פרויקט שרץ כבר הרבה שנים, אבל הייתה לו ממש קבוצה משמעותית בשנה הזאת. And all the organizations involved, which include the Jerusalem municipality, Matei, Hudam, Abbaseret, um, uh, and of course it will include Abu Ghosh and Telstone, and a lot of organizations and local committees like the Abbaseret Citizens Committee, which is represented here, um, and, and others. Uh, we are now what we call in the Chabi of Seri We are in process of being established as an urban biosphere, which will be recognized. by the government, by the public authorities, and uh, we hope you help us all to protect the Jerusalem hills. And you don't have anything to do with me. I'll be able to say it. I'll be able to say it. I'll be able to say it. I got it. Okay. That's time she had been. Yes, we say no. Yes, we say no. משתפים נמוכים, גיאולוגיים, ו... כן, כן, שיבינו את כולם. לגמרי. אחד הדברים שאנחנו עובדים עליו עכשיו זה... אחד הדברים שאנחנו עובדים עליו עכשיו זה ביצוע של סקר שירותי מערכת אקולוגית, שיהיה בעצם גם הבסיס לתכנון של המרחב, וגם שכל מי שגר במרחב ידע איזה אוצר אחר יש פה. אוקיי, אז אנחנו ממשיכים. זה שקט קשה. This green business forum Shiratsinu, Lahakim, we all want it to happen and we haven't managed to do it and it's something that we have to continue to try to do and this year we had a disappointment. We spent a lot of effort in developing a crypto coin that could be used with businesses that would then be recruited to be part of the business forum. But the firm that gave the um, That, that, that partnered with us and through which we created this crypto coin has actually put the project aside and left it and said they don't want to go on with it. They, they're no longer pursuing their non-profit initiative. So we're left with the concept of a crypto coin, but no one to work with. And I don't want to say that it's wasted. It's being, we have to think how we proceed and what we do. And how we go forward with the Jerusalem and Green Business Forum, because I think it's something waiting to happen. Uh, it's been waiting to happen for many, many years. Okay. Uh, as you see, urban change in Sikweta et a et a mizam shelehem. Okay, Akshav Ot, but we have another new initiative, which is the um Svivateva, Pachya Ashim Svivateva, renewing the activities of the uh, the community TV uh, team. We have two or three representatives here in the audience, stakeholders who are uh, uh, Yael was the, the lady who originally established it. Now there's a team of about 15, yeah. 20, 20 people. You can see Yael here. And actually, I think this picture was taken in, in, in Bustania. Uh -huh. They went to film uh -huh. what Esther was doing uh -huh. in Bustania. They went to Bustania at Salem. המטרה שלנו זה שהצוות הזה גם ישרת את מטרת הארגון והתיעוד שהוא עושה של כל מיני מיזמים ותהליכים בעיר. זה קרה כך בעבר ואנחנו נראה איך לאט לאט אנחנו מכניסים את החומרים שלהם לשמש את העבודה שלנו. והנה מיקי גרינברג שהיא גם בעלת עניין ונמצא איתו אחורנית, כן, 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 כן. אתן רואות את עצמכם, אני רואה אותה פה, נכון, הנה, הנה יעל, בצוות שלם של הטלוויזיה הקהילתית, שכולם יהיו גם בעלי עניין, וזה מודל מעניין, כי במקרה שלהם, התרומה שלהם כבעלי עניין מממנת את הפעילות שלהם. 
אז זה גודולה מיוחדת של בעלי עניין, ובגודולה אנחנו ממשיכים. אני עוברת עכשיו על, 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 על יוזמות של בעלי עניין, חלק כבר הוזכרו, העלייה לרגל הירוקה, הזכרנו, רגע מה עוד הזכרנו, לטיציה לא פה, היא פועלת בנושא שלא יש שום פלסטיק בירושלים, קצת יומרני, אבל על זה שיפה. יצחק יזרעאלי שפועל נחרצות להציל את יער ארנו. We have here Hannah Dvora who's fighting to protect the Mir Forest. Would you like to say a word, just a word or two? Yeah, yeah. Because they're starting a crowdfunding campaign and we'd like everyone to support it. One of my big talents is making a long story even longer. And nobody knows how far I'm trying to make a long story short. Um, to, to keep it really short, um, we live in the northeastern corner of Jerusalem, in the Yaakov, that's the last neighborhood of all Jerusalem. Below us is the beautiful near forest um, between us and north of Eskazel. And we're fighting two major building projects that they want to destroy, about 150 mature trees, a very important part of forest, where our, the largest herd of gazelles in all of Israel lives, the wild gazelles that live there, it's here, it's Israeli. So we're fighting like crazy to try to save it with Naomi's help. And um, we also are starting, um, God willing, a new initiative with the help of the area of Yushalayim and the JGF. Um, we want to develop like healing retreats for soldiers with PTSD, their families to start, and then uh, also invite um, war victims, terror victims, families you know, that were displaced from the North and the South, which I'm thrilled to see other communities already doing that. Um, and when someone starts seeing all these other activities that other neighborhoods are doing, I want to like work with Anna Gaudieva, who's in our neighborhood, to try to develop a lot more. So I'll do that in Hebrew, or you want to do that in Hebrew? <laughs> ויש שם עדר גדול של צבעים והרבה חיים וצומח ואנחנו תומכים בתושבים של נווה יעקב שעכשיו נלחמים ממש בוועדות התכנון למנוע תוכניות שגולשות ליער וזה מתחבר באמת עם שמורת פרקי הבאר של אנה שאנחנו מנסים לחבר את זה בחצי השני של היער אבל הכל חלק של אותה חלקה יפה היוזמה היפה החדשה זה למרגוע לחיילים, לאנשים שעוברים שיקום אחרי פציעה, אחרי פגיעה של טרור, כל מיני, הם קוראים לזה אמבטיות יער. בכמה מקומות של יערות בירושלים, ויער מיר זה הולך להיות הפיילוט הראשון בזכות ההתנהגות של כאן הדבורה והאנשים שלה, ואני עוברת לחמותה בר יוסף, ש... בעקבות האספה הכללית הקודמת שלנו, הנושא שעלה לדיון בסוף, ותכף נעלה לדיון כיוון שנשאר לנו טיפה זמן לדיון, והיא הקימה את ירושלים שקטה, הרבה אנשים אמרו שחשוב להם להילחם ברעש במרחב הציבורי, והיא מובילה את היוזמה הזו. שני משפטים. תודה, שני משפטים. אני רוצה להזכיר ששקט זה חלק חשוב מאוד בהתאם לתגובה. לא במקרה במשרד לאיכות הסביבה יש מחלקה למניעת רעש וקריאה. אבל אתם, שאני, ככל שאני מכירה אתכם יותר, אני מתמלאת יותר ויותר התפעלות מכל האנשים והפעילויות שמתרחשות. אני מאוד הייתי רוצה שהנושא הזה של צמצום רעש, רעשים מסוגים שונים, לא יכול להיות עכשיו לפירוט, יהפוך לא סתם לאיזו יוזמה של בעלי עניין, אלא לחלק ברור מהאג'נדה של קרן ירושלים ירוקה. תודה רבה. בבקשה. אוקיי. So, and this is very interesting. We saw Mutal began, we began bringing people together, and of course I've been trying to help it to make it happen. Stakeholders who feel this is a very important issue. What she's saying is this should become 
a core theme of the Jerusalem Green Fund, not just what she's trying to lead with a few other stakeholders. And of course, what we'll need for that is more stakeholders who can bring more funding, and then we can then we can do it. Did you have a question before she chairman? Uh, yes, what is happening is that we um also in conjunction with one channel. One channel is definitely there's a there's a, a plan to hook up with other uh um, so we're not there yet. Uh, it's going to be a collaborative uh, yeah. thing through the municipality and it's our initiative and that's good. Okay. So um uh, Ruti spoke before you're sitting here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You want to say a word about catalyst? One minute uh, like sentence. Minutes before the election, okay. uh is now uh, they were interacting uh, with projecting sharing interactive in a number of data the Kayamutri Batman. We shall be happy to see my use martial abuse here, so I'll be a sphere, you tell uh some dagesh on a clinic should have cadres uh calcala uh when we take Shalim, then a dab with Abashi a full if not a Kayamu Mila Matra. Shall I cast with it? Yes. Okay. Um, Catalyst 2030 is uh, aimed at creating projects that serve as proof of concept uh, to build sustainability from uh, the bottom up, instead of creating government policies to change the way the integrated policies on the interface between. Uh, society and nature. There's a, a considerable overlap with uh, the biosphere initiative. However, uh, the concentration of uh, the catalyst is on circular economy, uh, bioeconomy, and uh, creating more opportunities uh, for more harmonious relations between uh, local communities and the natural surroundings. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, let's let's should we move on? Um, by the way, we have several stakeholders who are from Almonacy um, and are fighting for Meets Better. You may want to say a word about that. Do you want to meet yeah, sure. yeah. Okay. A word or a couple of words? No, um, <laughs> two or three, but no <laughs> more. I can't <laughs> tell them. Then we won't have a discussion. Oh, okay. First of all, I want to say um, I'm incredibly thank you to Naomi because she has help us through the Amutar and uh, with the uh, ability to get the section 46 donations to raise um, so far 108,000 shekels uh, to pay for the law. And this is a hugely important thing that the Amutar is doing. Um, I hope that you will be to the table. Yes. Okay, make sure you go because uh, we, at this point, we've uh, we lost in the district court in 60 days' time, we don't have the final date yet, but we, we're going to the high court. Um, and we need 100,000 shekels approximately um, to pay for the lawyer. And uh, please, we that has been spent so oh, far. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. <laughs> see it. <I> see it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's quite an expensive process. And hopefully, those of you who are at the uh, district level for um, planning. Uh, are aware that it's it's hugely expensive. Um, but the thing is that uh, at the moment we need money, and if you can go on to JDU and type in Hebrew it's Pedro, and uh, you can uh, donate, then it's an incredibly helpful. Um, it's also a champion, a president, because the the uh, are planning to build four thousand five hundred meters there. They're destroying a beautiful section of Jerusalem. And if we allow this to happen there, it can happen in any neighborhood, in all of our neighborhoods. Um, so we're all for it here. Um, it is happening yeah. in all our neighborhoods. It's happening in Yamir and Hanazwoi uh, and the and, 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 and are leading a campaign to protect the Neil Forest, also crowdfunding through us. NKM are doing crowdfunding through us. These are all parts of the city that need help and need a lot of money. Um, and uh, I know. We're all doing our best. Okay, so we're going to go on to the next um, slide. Yes. Um,
I can't remember what we've got left to do. Oh, I spoke to people, I spoke about them, they're giving us excellent coverage. We're doing better than we were. We're getting mentioned in the papers, mentioned in Radio Yerushalayi, mentioned on TV, Galetaha, um, more Facebook followers, more Instagram followers, and more people getting our newspaper, new newsletter, but more important, more people opening our newsletter, which is considered very important. As I think, sure, it should have reached the pellet. It should have said it, shared it, said it, and machine the head of all changes. At the world, no, no, no. The Yosef. The Yosef. Yosef Gross was not here as a staff member. He's also responsible for upgrading our Facebook and Instagram followers. We're discovering it's a very important area of activity, social media, something we have to continue to foster. If you didn't like our page or join our Instagram, you can do so. If you want to see us on like, on Facebook, on Instagram, Okay, next slide. Um, okay, this is where we get our funds from, our stakeholders and friends from our crowdfunding campaign. The essential labor bitch is that investment that we have thanks to the large request that uh, Richard helped us get several years back. Uh, Lisa and Maury found Friedman Foundation. Shoshan Shina has donated very generously over the years. We have managed to get money from the Ministry of Environment. It does eventually come in and, 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 and make the negative positive. Uh, Yadrika has given us support. Uh, Susan Freed was here. She's one of our stakeholders too. She left a little earlier. And Karen Shelley, which supports minor initiatives uh, in the city. Next slide. Okay. Um, and that brings us to the fact that crowdfunding is becoming an essential part of nonprofit life. We, if you remember the budget from last year, we brought in about 80,000 from last year's crowdfunding campaign, which balanced our books, enabled us to stay in the black instead of getting into the red and, and helped us stay afloat. We need to do an annual crowdfunding campaign and we're going to be launching one, all being well on Yom Yerushalayim, it so happens that Yom Yerushalayim, Jerusalem Day, uh, is the same day as the World Environment Day. We think that's a very happy uh, and auspicious combination. Yom Yerushalayim, the 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 Yom Yerushalayim, בחוסן אישי וקהילתי. ישראל סמית, who you see there, he organized the campaign last year and he's going to be organizing it this year. Uh, he's going to be reaching out and from here we ask you, the success of the campaign depends on having ambassadors. Ambassadors are people who say, within the framework of the campaign, they're going to run their own mini campaign all their friends and relations who will give to them because they might not even know so much about us but they believe in you the ambassadors and therefore they will give their support and at the same time learn more about us and get more than just the funds we spread the word about what the Jerusalem Green Fund is doing. As a sharp yifne elechem vani anim vakeshe chukon misha votse vemunyan anyone who is willing to step up and be an ambassador uh, can approach Israel, and he's just waiting. The materials are ready to go out. Um, we've set a modest goal of one hundred and fifty thousand, um, uh, forty thousand uh, dollars. David Christman, the accountant who was commenting before, said it's not ambitious enough, but it's what we've set for ourselves, and we want to achieve it. At a difficult time, um, trying to make the Get the message that for a city to be resilient, it has to be sustainable. And, uh, and Yisrael, if you want to say a word, 
<laughs> okay, well, at least right, we'll be getting in touch. Does anyone now know they want to be an ambassador who didn't know before? Well, <laughs> ולכולם יש אימיילים, ואני הבנתי רשימה של מאות אנשים שחתמו את עצומה למען ירושלים שקטה. אני חושבת שאם אין לך את זה, אז אני אעביר לך את זה. נכון. ואפשר להשתמש בזה. מצוין. תודה. כל מאגר של מיילים זה אוצר. בואו נעבור. אני לא זוכרת אם יש לנו דורנה יום עוד בארץ. Oh, working through us. Yeah, these are all the organizations working through us. Um, uh, before you to come, you want to come to share them, come at the port to sort out the pleasure to run your as well. Oh, now, oh, how to come. Looking ahead. Okay, we have 20 minutes because at 8 o'clock we're going to close the gates. The Zeha's man, Shemishu Shepushet, Shech Machud, Shemachud Shemla Sot Yotel, or Anachud Shemla Sot Yotel. או אנחנו צריכים לעשות שלא עושים, בבקשה זה הזמן להגיד כן. היי, היי, שנייה נולד, אני אדבר על זה. אני קראתי ארטיקל בארץ בוויגנד על שקירת גרדן ותל אביב, והם יש להם אלטרנטיב קורנסי של לירות, ואני רוצה להגיד שזה משהו שאולי זה 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 משהו um it'd be nice i'd like to this this could be a way forward for our crypto coin that we actually yeah. created yes and thank yes. you so, we'll be in touch with you alone and we'll discuss it so it's one uh, kilo is one one kilo of compost is one, uh, one, one, one the, the, the idea what our idea was one of the ideas that israel had was that we have a coin that businesses agree to use and then if people pay them in those coins they can pay us with those coins and therefore earn the right to be in the green business. This is one way we're thinking of trying to make it happen. Yes, uh, Yeah. Okay, uh, my name is Um, I have the idea for all our campaigns that we really need for the Jerusalem Green Fund and the lobby, celebrity representatives, like they have in America, the famous actors, famous singers that promote different causes. I've been thinking about this for years. We really should try to find people like this, my husband and I worked in the music business professionally. You know, there's some you know, famous musicians here and outside of the- These brilliant celebrities come and go. Yeah, um, but I don't know if you can get them involved, but I'm putting out the idea for everybody else. Amarty is sharing it for Shevet and not this week. I spoke much to show a thing that's so good. I don't know if you can get it, but she's on the community team. מפרסמים כמו מי יכול נוע, מי עולם המוזיקה, שאומרים בצידנו איזה עבודה יפה אנחנו עושים לעשות יותר פרוגרסיבי. מישהו מכיר גל גדול? יש לנו הרבה מיליונים של פולוויז. אנחנו חייבים לקפוץ על הדבר הזה, שיש לנו את הפרסומות ואיזה סופורט. תמיכה. תמיכה מאנשים מפרסמים. אז אני זורק את זה בחוץ, שכולם יכולים לחשוב על זה, לדבר על זה, אפשר להיות בקשר איתי, ולראות איך אפשר לגדל את השידור הירושלים הירוקה, ואחר כך היא נעזרה ככה. אתם יכולים לקחת את הזמן כדי לעשות כמה דברים? כן. אוקיי. זה נראה שאתם עושים את זה. אני עושה 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 I think I'll see. I'll say in English first. I wanted to add on about the the um, Navriot, the what we're doing to stop trying to stop the building projects in the Bay Area. First of all, I want to explain that our neighborhood is a neighborhood of all different kinds. We have from Russia, Ethiopia, America, Europe, Israelis, Filipini, um, Gati. Neighborhood is a, a mix of everything. We have a lot of uh, unity in our neighborhood. We're friends. We all love the force, and we want to protect the force in the Bay Area, but also north of this country. We've been trying to work together to save the force that goes between both our neighborhoods. Um, uh, I'm now working with Osnat, who's the uh, Rekhezit uh, Iroli of Yarok Yushalayim. She's in charge of all the activities in the force in Jerusalem. I got her excited about our project that we want to help soldiers with PTSD and their families and war victims, et cetera, et cetera. 
So we're working on a pilot project in our course. And we're looking for more volunteers. You don't have to live in our neighborhood. Um, it's a gorgeous area. I'm sure everyone will enjoy coming. It could be people who do art therapy, music, um, and anything that they might have to offer, just another pair of hands. We want to get it going this summer because people need help this summer. Families that have their, you know, the father's fighting in Gaza or North and the mother's back home with the kids and they don't know what to do and they don't have money. It's, they just need transportation, get to our course, and we'll do things for them. And I'm also looking for corporate sponsors. Maybe Rami Levy will help fund, you know, like people at a barbecue or something. So if anybody wants to follow us, we're up to the Maybe not. Rami Levy is joking. Oh, well, I I just well, think like, Rami Lady is not a good idea. He's yeah. got one foot on your sand. I'm just a little light in California. I don't know what it's called. It's a city down. It'll be super soft. It'll be another store, okay? Um, yeah. So I throw that out there. And please, if you can get it going in your own neighborhood where you have a beautiful area, a nature area that you could, like, you know, do that to help soldiers and their families. I'm so happy to see people are doing that to help the people with this place in the open sex. You can be in touch with me, you know me by time my number. Second thing is, I wanted to, I talked to him, it's not about this. I wanted to get a memorial uh, of trees planted in our forest. Near forest was planted more than 80 years ago by two sisters in memory of the victims of the Holocaust that died from the city of Mir and, and Yeshiva in Mir. And that's why it was planted. There's a plaque for it. And I thought we really need to do something like that for the victims of October 7th. The, the people, the soldiers, the first responders, um, the, the kibbutzim, the shubim, we plant a tree for each group and we have a plaque. We could have a yearly ceremony. It seems this is the place to do it. We have the memorial for the show of victims. We should also talk to what happened now. And to give that yeah. to the families, yeah. nobody connected to it, that we care about, and we want to keep the memory going. I don't know Okay, I'll just finish uh, two more points in English and then I'll change it in Hebrew. Um, I want to. Uh, I don't think you can say it in Hebrew too, because time you have to go to somebody else and have something to say. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, all right, so we also want to get more activities going. Kaka, the men of Health Kiva team are, are working together with the area yeah, to get more activities going in our force. They already started with. Uh, our projects from um, nature are already started for mothers and their children. There's going to be a father's and son activity every Fridays in the forest. There's going to be uh, more activity going on there. We want to jump in and add more activities. I want to develop for, uh, forest tours. We have incredible history there from the Tanakh and more recently, and historical mm -hmm. sites, archaeological mm -hmm. sites. It's fascinating. So I wanted to throw that out there. And the last thing, which is really important, not only is this very important for us to protect. It's very unique. Um, it was started as a um, health spa, like the Dead Sea, because the geography, the topography of the Bay of the way the valleys and the hills work and the air circulating from the Dead Sea, it is so healthy there. It started as a health spa in Bay Yaakov. Mm -hmm. And this is where a lot of people come to live because it's so healthy and beautiful. I came there because I had asthma, my dog was at the top of the I go there. We need to say this. There's another place like it in Israel, along with the biggest herd of gazelles, wild gazelles. And the problem with the building projects, of course, we want to say the force is these two building projects are endangering not only all of the Yako, but also what is got said. It's going to bring, if they do these projects, more than 1,500 new vehicles every day. We have very narrow streets. We are a dead end neighborhood. There's nowhere to go. We already suffer terrible traffic jams. And we're saying the vehicles can't get it, get it now is needed. And I'm going to have it. You convinced us. Yeah, so yeah. by, by <laughs> right, the same point it is, <laughs> it's not only to save the beautiful forest and all the activities and things we want to do that help, you know, the, the community uh, at large, it's seriously in a situation of block that is a danger to life because the area and the locals do not care 
Yeah, we don't have uh, the ability to receive all this extra time. Yeah, that's all and we're moving into fight this huge for help. I should have covered the lawyers. And then we'll right. Right. Thank you so Fine. much. <laughs> You're a great lady. It's a good to have some things. I just want to say three things. Um, Only three. Well, okay. Yeah. okay. The first thing is, I mentioned to them and somebody else that one of the things about you know, if you're feeling sick and not feeling good, and um, you go to a hospital and you see what's going on in the hospital, you come out feeling great. Yeah. Now, one of the things here is that we are all interacting, and we have one big issue here, which is the environment that's in danger, and um, and there's a tremendous amount of strength that we I feel that we get from sharing our issues. And just taking that a next step, I want to throw out a slight challenge, I suppose. All of us in small um, areas, not so small areas, we all are facing these um, these Marbakin struggles. That means that we need to raise money. That means that we need a lawyer. That means that we need to be in contact with lots of people. I would like to see, and I hope, but I think maybe what Naomi has in mind here with the with the Yerushalmi Rukar is that there will be some sort of a procedure that we will be able to with people like Amamatsi, like Nair, to be able to hook into, they'll be able to choose the lawyer, they'll be able to, et cetera. That's, and then, <laughs> right, the last thing I wanted to say is that I'm from New Zealand, and I was there in January, and um, there were two things that amazed me. One thing was that there's no money there anymore. But the yeah. other thing, <laughs> yeah, they were spread out. The other thing is that they have no plastic bags. Um, One time use bags, I looked on the internet in July, of last year, they bought it into effect. It's <laughs> incredible. Every time I go to wash your art, every time you go shopping, you think about those usable bags, those those throwaway bags. How many millions there are in Israel? Let's do it, guys. Get rid of it. Yeah, a very very good idea. And do you know what? Your idea for a pool of lawyers, accountants, um, professionals is an excellent idea. All we need, all we need, <laughs> is another two hundred and fifty stakeholders. <laughs> I don't think it's impossible. Now, supposing, let's take the next thing of a goal. There are now 134 of us. If every one of us brings in two more, we'll have done it. Maybe. Is it possible? Of course, everything's really possible. I think it's possible. So let, that's our goal for next year. We'll reach 500 stakeholders, and then the sky's the limit. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> okay. Are we about to close the meeting? Okay, thank you all so much. Thank you to Batea, thank you to Tina, thank you to Esther, thank you to Maya, thank you to Thank you.